I've uh, mentioned this over the last couple of uh, days. I've alluded to it. Uh, I hate skiing. Okay. You passed on a big vacation with your best friend because you don't want to ski. Do you really, Leslie? I I have a fear. I don't have a fear. I ski. Now, people are going to call and say, well, you just don't know anything about skiing. Folks, I skied for 10 years. I skied Colorado, Utah, all the Rocky Mountains. Our family, that's all we used to do is go on skiing trips. I'm a warm weather person, too. I find that there is no bigger hassle in the world But I know people that love it. Good, because I've never skied. because You would hate it. I'll tell you why you'd hate it. One, I can't do it because of... Drumming, I can't afford to screw up a limb. Oh, you know, I have God. the big Grumpy Listen Fish to tour. You. Listen to I have you. the big tour, and uh, no, I just don't have any interest. I just in don't want to go anywhere where I'm going to be cold. Everyone comes back with a knee screwed up or a leg, and I'm not even into that. That aside, that aside, Here's, I know you would hate would it, love it because it is the ultimate hassle sport. Oh yeah, like everything involved in skiing, I would hate is it. a hassle from getting to the mountain to getting the equipment, right? To waiting in lines. It's a patient to, sport, it's, which it's just a I don't hassle. Have any of it. It's okay. Like, so so I I'll never ski then. Now you, it, I'm telling you, I know you. Well, you I have want, people on the other side that are like, you would love it. It takes you like an you hour to get, to get from wherever you're going to the thing. And I have you, friends that are obsessed with skiing. So do I. I know. They try to pull me in there every year. I'm just not into it. I'm sorry. Major pain. And I'm not so. into cold. Well, yes. if you're not into cold and pain in the neck, and then skiing is not your sport. And, right. That's not your sport. I'll take the Marriott uh, Resort. So, uh, <laughs> I got. I, I found a very funny thing. Uh, I'm finding, by, by the way, I'm finding fewer and fewer funny things on the internet these days. It seems like... It's getting watered it's, down. It's all like rehash, but this I thought was funny. Uh, a guy emailed me something. Uh, this is a, uh, a list of things... That is to remind skiers how to prepare for the ski season, and it's to also remind non-skiers why they hate skiing in the first place. It's just a few things. Number one, uh, some things to do to warm up for the ski season. Number one, visit your local butcher and pay $30 to sit in the walk-in freezer for half an hour. Afterwards, burn two $50 bills to warm up. Number two, go to the nearest hockey rink and walk across the ice 20 times in your ski boots carrying two pairs of skis, accessory bag, and poles. Then pretend you're looking for your car. Another classic pastime of skiers. You can never find your car. I already like it. Yeah. For ski boot simulation at home, put a pebble in your street shoes and tighten a C-clamp around your toes. (laughs) (laughs) This is so dead on. Uh, number four, buy a pair of gloves and then immediately throw one away. <laughs> Always lose a glove. That's especially for you. Number five, uh, go to McDonald's and then insist on paying six fifty for a burger. Then be sure to wait in the longest line, find the noisiest, most obnoxious, screaming, crying kids with worn out, snapping parents and sit right next to them. Number six, Clip a lift ticket to the zipper of your jacket and ride a motorcycle fast enough to make the ticket lacerate your face. <laughs> you ever see those guys who uh, like walk around Buckhead with 47 lift tickets on their right. jacket? Because it's like... Because cool. they're cool. Because it's cool. Hey, dude, you're in Atlanta now? You're in the okay. Buckhead Ski <laughs> Club. Have you seen those yeah. uh, shirts? But uh, I was in Vail in 1992. No, just last week. But, uh, yeah. It, when in fact they were, it was 1992. No, and in they fact were, they yeah. were in the tanning booth. Uh, I've got the burnt nose and the ski lift ticket. Right. Drive slowly for five hours anywhere as long as it's in a convertible and in a snowstorm and you're following an <laughs> 18-wheeler. Fill a blender with ice. Turn on. Uh, fill a blender with ice. Turn it on and light the and let the ice shards blast your face. Gosh, this is so dense. And, and finally. And this is, Leslie, this is where you will fall in. Dress up in as many clothes as you can, and then proceed to take them off because you have to go to the bathroom. A pain. A royal pain. I've never right. skied, but that sounds pretty it's dead on. Exactly for what skiing experiencing is Experiencing the elements. Every, from top to bottom. Is that why you gave it up? From top, to, yeah. Yeah, because finally I realized, yeah, every one of these, right, why am I doing it? Let me, get, me, get me to some sand.